What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one today, as always. And if you can't tell from that right there, uh, we're taking a look at Bayonetta from Very Cool. Uh, this is actually my second six scale figure from Very Cool. Uh, maybe my third. I'm pretty sure it's my second. Uh, the previous one that I know I had gotten was the, uh, uh, I think it was called Heart King from Wii Fire or something like that. Uh, which I just bought because I thought it looked really cool. I was not overly impressed with the figure. Um, but I love me some Bayonetta. Uh, so hopefully, uh, very cool will impress me here. We'll have an actually very cool figure. Uh, and they will win back my admiration. Now, if you haven't played Bay Bayonetta, um, it's a really awesome adventure action game. Uh, as you can possibly see. She has guns on her feet, and she holds them, so she quad wields, which is uh, relatively unique. I'm going to try and flip it over to see the back. I had heard some rattling around, as you might as well, right there, but there you go. You can get a good look at it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like the, uh, the Devil May Cry series in a way. You just play as this cool witch lady that runs around and uses some super cool guns to hunt demons and all that other good stuff. Uh, I love the first one. I've played the second. I don't know if the third one actually is out, or if it's coming out. Uh, I know there is a third one, or there's a third one on the way. More importantly, let's take a look at this gal. Uh, so the box is pretty basic. I do love this. Uh, I can see what rattled around. One of her guns is probably floating in there somewhere. I think that's up by her head. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just kind of dive right on into her and see what we get. Uh, now, I did get this from Giant Toy. They, the pre-order was up quite a while ago, so I, I believe the pre-order sold out. Um, you might be able to order them once they officially put it back up there. There are a couple other spots that carry it. Um, I am pretty sure one six uh, collectibles is out. Oops. Um, I think I've seen it on Akia. Uh, Supposedly, Toys Wonderland has it, but I'm not a huge fan of them, so I would not recommend going that route. Um, but, seems like it's a pretty cool figure. Oh, come on. There we go. So far, I'm impressed. I at least like what I'm seeing from the get-go. Other than the fact that the one gun is kind of floating around in there. It's almost impressive that it managed to get in with her head. That's... That's pretty fancy. We'll go ahead and just set that aside and look at the good stuff here. A little bit of a mark on her suit, which is not fun. Don't mean to close up on her crotch, but we'll take a look at that. Um, can't tell if it's just a white spot or a little fluck. Yeah, magic. All right, we're good. There is that fantastic head sculpt. They did a great job. They actually got the beauty mark in the right spot. There you go. That is just awesome. I really like that. So I'll automatically, right from the, the start, just looking at the head, it is a definite win. Uh, they do have the synthetic hair back there. I'm going to have a lot of detangling to do. Um, that's that's going to be a joy. Uh, now, normally these gold chains are kind of sort of hanging all over. Holy mackerel. Yeah, this is... Uh, all right, we're going to try, let's see what we can do here, put that put down, all up in her hair and everything, So be warned, if you get one of these yourself, you might have some work to do as far as detangle in this mess. Holy cow. Alright, let's see. We're making progress, though. That's the good thing. So that one hangs down there. I mean, this is honestly a uh, complete tangled mess. Um, 
I don't really want to waste too much time playing around with that, so we'll just kind of move on. I'll try and work around it as best I can, um, and then at some point just do a quick pause and, and do a little detangle. So uh, what we can tell, it is a seamless body, um, which I love that they did. Actually, maybe not. No, yeah, it is. Okay. So props to them for that. Uh, the previous one that I had gotten was not, and I was not in love with it, so I think they did a good job there. Part of the problem I'm going to run into is they don't want to move her around too much and risk damaging these chains. So I'm kind of going to go a little bit slower than I would have liked, um, but I think that's probably the safe bet. Uh, so the suit gives a little restriction in movement in the legs, not too much, mainly in the waist area, so no real crazy kicks. Um, you might be able to pull one off. I, I don't think she's got it. That's probably as far as I would comfortably go in that regard. Um, and that was one of the things I was afraid would happen. Uh, but on the plus side, at least it happened with mine. And not one of yours. Uh, let's see. So it'll be kind of an easy fix for me. The chain link there just popped. So we're just going to have to put that back into place. Uh, so, let that be a warning. Um, be careful moving around, because that definitely seems like it's going to be an issue, especially uh, if they're all tangled up. Although, to be fair, this one was really not tangled in any way. I think I just got a little overzealous uh, with the, uh, the flex there. So just be mindful of that. Um, don't think it damaged the suit at all from the looks of it. I think it just kind of popped that little chain link, so not the end of the world. Uh, the suit is pretty good, uh, but like I said, if I ran into that problem right away off the get-go, there's a reasonable chance you might run into it yourself later on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and kind of move on. That's definitely my, my big concern from the get-go is just obviously this and then the tangle action. Uh, not to get a close-up of her boobs, but there's that beautiful badge, if you were wondering, and it does look pretty dang good. They did a great job with that. Um, honestly, the, the look of the figure is awesome. It's just the, the chain action is uh, all over the place and, and not quite great. So we'll have a little bit to play with there, um, but, you know, not the end of the world. Uh, you do get some extra hands, as you can see. Let me also get some extra hair for her, which is interesting. Uh, gonna be honest, I don't know why they included these. Um, I'll pull one out in a moment to take a look at it, but we'll just get an up-close look at her guns real fast. Uh, so if you aren't familiar with the series, she has four, which she has named Scarborough Fair. Uh, so you get Parsley Sage, Rosemary in Time, um, and these things are just super cool. They're they're really neat guns. They did a great job designing those. Um, they do have the delicate chain on them as well, so hopefully no breaks there over time. Uh, no movement on the hammer, but that's okay. Just really did an outstanding job with those fellas. Now, I was wondering, so it's got Scarborough Fair written on the one. I believe, technically, each one should have Scarborough Fair on one side and then the name of the, the gun on the other. Um, but I might be very, very wrong on that. Yeah, but still cool that they got that in there. I don't know if you can read it or not. Yeah, there you go. So that's kind of fun. So they did a really good job at that. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to attach to her feet. That might take a little bit of work. I can see it actually does not look like it's going to be too terribly difficult. So on the back of her boots, she's got little clips right there. Get a little focus on that. So that'll just go on the rail of the gun on the top rail there. You might be able to loosen up those straps a little bit as well. I don't think you would really need to, though. I think it'll 
probably lock in pretty easily. Yeah, they just kind of clip right into place. Well, pretty decent. Not a lot of wiggle room there, which is good. And really was quite easy to do. You just kind of line it up and slide it in. There is a bit of give to them, so you can kind of flex it a bit as you go in. Uh, so that works out pretty dang well. Um, still very confused about these. <laughs> Try and pull this out and see what we're working with here. I know she's also got glasses which are floating around in here. I think that's what I just flipped. These do look incredibly delicate, but they actually did the frames really, really well. Probably not doing it justice, but there you go. And that should go on relatively easy. We'll give that a quick try. So there's not really anything that holds the glasses on or into place. They do seem a little loose, so they might end up falling off. Eh, maybe not. Eh, seem alright. I did also just notice that she has actual earrings in as well, which is pretty dang cool. I don't know why that uh, didn't really dawn on me right at the get-go, but kind of fun that they did that. Um, so really the only complaint that I have about the figure is kind of the obvious one, and that's that the, the chain work, um, which again, it is very fixable, so I'm not terribly concerned in that regard. I still, for the life of me, cannot figure out why she comes with extra hair. And it's probably something really simple that I just am overlooking. Um, do one real quick just to take a gander but I mean it honestly looks like it should attach to her <laughs> it's like a, a sleeve of some point I'm I know this is probably something I should know especially being a fan of of the game but I really don't remember her having any weird hair tassels um, so that's kind of an interesting one uh, maybe I'll do a Google search um, I'm going to take a quick look at the box and see if anything stands out that I'm missing. Cause maybe that'll cue me in, but uh, at the moment, it is a bayonetta mystery. We'll go ahead and plop that back in there. You don't get a stand or anything. I don't particularly think you need one. Yeah, so all right. It looks like those are just little arm tassels, which I never realized were hair. Um, hey, why not? <laughs> uh... So I'll have to play around with those. It looks like they're going to slide on pretty easy. I don't think there's going to be too much of a problem there. Um, so I'm not going to bother taking the time to do that. Uh, definitely worth looking into if you're a fan of the figure. Just be warned that these chains uh, restrict things a little bit. Um, and you might run into some problems as far as the links popping out. Um, not that you need to see, but her hands are pretty straightforward and basic. They did a good job with the gloves, though. I can't deny that. So overall, I'm I'm pretty happy. I, I obviously am bummed out about the uh, the chain, but it's fixable, so I, I'll give it a pass. Um, I'm I'm not gonna hate on very cool too much over it. Uh, definitely could be better, but could be a whole lot worse. So that'll do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great one.